Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr. Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> Your Majesty. Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs. Witch? A bit. Hmm, witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs. Witch off, Daddy? No, I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. You must be the Mrs. Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh. Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have, but... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. Quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in the hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. Oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm, 
This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> to love his birthday card. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh, how did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, uh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Ben! Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf! Do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now. Let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad. <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy! You shouldn't have drunk it. <coughs> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, 
I seem to have caught the king's cold. Hooray! <laughs> 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 well, well done, done ben. ben. You see? I told you no one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Um, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set! Go! Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow. The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da-da-dum. Do da di da 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 la la da dum di da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells, the bells. Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Oh, her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny, magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? 
Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. <laughs> Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. When you turned Ben into a frog, abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadee zee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracadabra. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracadabra Zabadi Z. Hooray! For you! I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK, can I have another go? No, if anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly. Give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew, for a moment I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick, this young elf do magic. There, have another go, Ben. Into frogs, abracazobody. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Into birds, zabbity zee. And into rabbits, abracazabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. Abracazabadi, zabadi, zee. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes. Whoa, whoa! Follow that chicken. Oh, 
no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum, I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! It doesn't look exactly like it did before. <coughs> ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh! <gasps> The teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it and I've been sad all day. <gasps> And now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh, oh no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you are going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply... Lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. Yeah! They don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. 
Oh, stop fussing! <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things! It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high! No problem! I'll climb up! Be careful, Ben! Don't worry, Holly! Elves are very good at climbing! And I'm an elf! <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <coughs> we should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used gnomes. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Nine needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here. Forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy. Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes. yes. You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait, but not for long. A fish! We'll 
be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up. I don't think so. He's eating the line. Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Banty! <laughs> Lord... Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Even worse. Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> I like your work, Daddy. It's fun. Oh, 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 you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. So where are the twins? And um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. Uh, uh. Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny Rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny. Oh, clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! 
there's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again.
but there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK, I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no, don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <coughs> ah, hello, wand. <coughs> Ahem, blue to red. But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise! Oh, look! The sea is coming closer. That's great! Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Polly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Polly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No. It's too windy to fly. Uh, Polly, maybe it's time to do a little... Magic. Yes! I'll just wave my wand and... Oh! Where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly! I can throw it to you! But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly! Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching! <laughs> OK! Don't worry, wand! Ben will catch you! Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum! One, two, three, roll! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Ben. Now for the magicking bit. Sun, sea and sand. Put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> Carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh! Come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. 
Oh! I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <whistles> Daddy told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Ben! Ben! Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh. Carrots! <laughs> now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes, nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, ho, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. 
We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. Huh? Oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. Let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew. For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Flood! Oh! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly! Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <laughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny. Where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. <whistles> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> This is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit up, Zessie, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good! Now just a final layer of dirt. And we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us! <laughs> Come on, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! <laughs> Yee-haw! Can't catch me! Yes, we can! <laughs> King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instrument sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr. Elf. Fantastic!
fantastic. That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. <laughs> I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Yes, goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr. Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> <laughs> <gasps> it's the gnome! He's come back to eat our breakfast! <laughs> oh! A mole! <laughs> oh! It's eating our washing! Shoo! Shoo! Go away, mole! <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello! Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> We are 
heading back to the Little Kingdom using jelly power. Hooray! They're on their way home.